Ho hello there. I'm Bolchen a cute bear. Hey, I'm the cute kimit nimakong. The phrase cute kimit nimakong is unbeatable in a rap battle. <laughs> is that how rap battles work? Uh. Refer to Japanese comedy do a rubber girl's material. Oh, I'll take a look. Moving on from that last time. We discussed that mathematics is the study of logic that examines the axiomatic system. And within that axiomatic system, the starting points of logic are the axioms. Remember? Leave it to me. I just recalled it. Oh, well. Then there is no problem. This time we'll delve into theorems. Bolger. In this diagram, let's assume that this game was extremely important. Ah. Oh. We call such game theorems. So a theorem is an important claim. That's right. Just like that. Well, if the diagram is becoming clear. Haral. To be a bit more specific about when a claim is called a theorem. First, it has to appear in this diagram. Meaning from axioms. It has to be derived. Simply put, it has to be a correct claim. That can be proven within that axiomatic system. I see, if it's not correct in the first place, its importance doesn't matter. Exactly. The second criterion is that it has to be an important claim, as I said earlier. Not just kind of important, but so important that it becomes a key point in understanding the entire axiomatic system. So important. Isn't there a fixed rule? Oh, oh. you've hit the nail on the head. As I said before, the word theorem basically means an important claim. There is no strict boundary defining what's important and what's not. In math, it doesn't have to be strict. Well, simply put. Whether or not to call a claim a theorem isn't about the content of the mathematics itself. What do you mean? The research in mathematics involves figuring out if a claim is true, if it can be proven and how to prove it. That's what filling in this diagram is all about. The diagram itself, the axiomatic system, is the substance of mathematics. During the research, you might label something that seems to be a key point as a theorem. It's not about the mathematics itself, but rather people's opinions on it. Like a personal favourite claim of mathematicians and math enthusiasts. Exactly. You got it. I'm starting to get it. Haral. So, the explanations you gave earlier at Bolchen Sensei are about the appeal of those claim to mathematicians, right? Yes, I think that's a good image. It makes a lot of sense. Haral. Now, under the last criterion. For instance, like this, or like this, which are close to the starting axioms and can be reached quite quickly. Can be easily proven because the path is short. From the initial axiom, we derive the next and the next and so on. That's what proving means, so you said that. Exactly. Many claims that are easily provable become very important in the whole axiomatic system. But they usually aren't called theorems. Usually, only the claims that are quite hard to prove are called theorems. In this diagram, it means they have to be a certain distance down, right? Yes, this. But the terms down or difficult are not defined by any fixed rule. Right. Exactly. All three of these criteria come together to make something a theorem. But the last two are somewhat ambiguous. 
If I go just by intuition, a claim that meets all three criteria. Feels like it's making a VUD point. A sudden appeal for cuteness. <laughs> I'll get mad, you know. I'm sorry. Haral. <laughs> So, to sum up, a theorem, simply put, is a very profound claim. Exactly. That's right. So, we'll end it here for today. The next discussion will build on today's, so make sure you've got it all straight in your head. Check it out. Haral. <laughs>